Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Chelsea and as you can see we are now back in my old background. This feels very familiar and nice for a sit down video that I have not done in a while. Unfortunately I left a lot of my makeup back in New York so I made do with what I had and tried to put more effort into hair and nails. But of course this is not the focus of the video. I doubt you guys really care that much so let's just jump into the video. So as you can see from the title, I decided to sit down and talk a little more about my New Year's resolutions. Everyone is probably way too familiar with this concept of making goals at the beginning of a new year and may even think it's a little overrated, especially since the past few years have just not been the best due to COVID and everything. But I did want to take this opportunity to dig a little deeper through my own goals at the often toxic diet and fitness culture that arises at this time. I want to help combat that with hopefully more healthy, resolutions of my own. I'll be not only talking about fitness, but also mental health, hobbies, relationships, and all of that. Since I think all of these aspects are absolutely essential to living a more fulfilling life in the new year. My goal for this video is to both keep myself accountable, as well as hopefully motivate you guys also to pursue a more healthy overall life in this new year of 2022. So let us just jump right into it. So starting first with fitness, I actually don't have many big concrete goals for this. Obviously, I'd like to keep creating new content for you guys on this channel, and that means maintaining a fairly consistent exercise routine. Since I'm starting a new full-time job this year, I think I'll have a more regular routine to keep me on track. However, my biggest resolution for this section is just to keep doing workouts that actually challenge me. I feel like for this past year, because I was so busy with school, I was often careless with my workouts. I would just rotate around and hit a couple of the big machines at the gym and call it a day. I don't think I was fully present for a lot of these workouts. So for this new year, along with having a more set routine, I want to seriously plan out, at least for every week, what workouts I'm going to do and make sure that I am completely enjoying the workout as it is happening then. So I want my plans to not be necessarily based on physique goals, but on challenging maybe one specific body part a week, building endurance on another week, or achieving a certain amount of weight for another week. So little goals like this, I think are actually much more fun and will hopefully keep me on track and being able to produce great content for you guys. Of course, these fitness goals are not just driven by YouTube. I genuinely want to feel better about myself every morning after completing a fulfilling and challenging workout. Okay, I just realized my hair is a little bit off, but let us just ignore that. Next up is eating or nutrition, which definitely comes in tandem with exercise. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know that I'm not really going into specifics about my diet besides a few what I eat in a day videos, and even those have been quite far and in between. I think this is because, first of all, I just don't have a very specific diet I stick to all the time. And secondly, I was just coming out of a time where I was focused on restriction and a certain physique right before I started this channel. So I didn't want this to be a space where I could further those habits as I think ultimately they were not very good for both my physical and mental health. But I wanted to take this video to explain kind of why I'm not resolving to go on any sort of diet this year. I know that everyone has different needs and goals. So if a diet is something that will work for you, like more power to you. But for me, this is just my take based on my own experiences. So I'm going to say my goal for eating this year is pretty similar to my exercise goals in that I just want to be mindful and present while I'm having a meal or snack. I don't want to use food as emotional support or to fill some sort of hole. When I was dieting, I found that I was labeling foods or food groups all the time. Obviously, I knew that foods like cookies, chips, ice cream, these were bad foods and just should not be consumed very much at all. But I found that I was even judging foods that were good like nuts, fruit, or bread as possible threats to my diet. Because I was being so restrictive, I felt like even if I had one too many of these good foods, I would be undoing my progress. And constantly judging foods in the back of your head every time you eat can just get super exhausting. I'll admit that I still have some of these tendencies today even if I'm not actively dieting. I would look at a meal and say, this might be too many carbs for one day. So this year, I want to prevent these thoughts from taking up too much brain space and try to simply enjoy the foods I am eating as they are. Just nourishment for 
my body and mind. I want to listen to my hunger cues instead of emotional cues. I think my relationship with food is forever a work in progress. But I really want to take steps this year like eating more slowly, trying not to look at nutrition labels immediately while buying foods, this kind of thing to just be more present. I think my ultimate goal with food and exercise is just to achieve a sort of body neutrality, which I think is just accepting my body as it is instead of constantly striving for a certain physique or trying to tell myself I'm beautiful all the time. Okay, so moving away from physical to mental health, I have two more concrete goals for this category. One is to journal more, at least once a week, I would say. And the second one is to be able to take a day or two off when I need it. As I'm starting a new job and a new time in my life, I totally anticipate a lot of mental health struggles. So I really want to take these preventative steps and have a game plan for when I feel super overwhelmed. So for journaling, unfortunately, I haven't been doing a lot of it this past year. I often turn to it when I feel like I just need to vent, which I don't think is the best because I want to associate journaling with both positive and negative emotions. I did learn this one exercise through a class called Signs of Happiness I took this past semester, which is called the Three Good Things Journal. And this is pretty straightforward. You just write down three good things, whether big or small, that happened that day. And I did keep this up for a while and I want to get back into it. So definitely would recommend this for you guys as well as myself. As for taking a day or two off, I feel like I wasn't really able to during school because my grades would drop or I just feel guilty for missing class. But I think as I'm starting a new job with vacation days allotted, I really want to actually use them whenever I feel like I'm getting a bit overwhelmed. Since I know that me taking a day off is not going to negatively impact the entire team or company, I definitely want to take advantage of that. This year, I'm setting goals for my relationships as well. I realized that in adulthood, which I still can't actually believe that I'm officially entering, it's so important to actively keep in touch with people if you want to build healthy relationships. I was quite nervous about losing touch with people over the pandemic as well as this year when a lot of my friends will be in school and I'll be working. So my resolution for this year is to actively reach out to the people I care about such as hanging out with my friends at least once a month and calling my family weekly since we're not going to be in the same city. I'm also making a goal for myself to make at least one new friend this year. Because I'm a more introverted person, this goal is probably quite ridiculous sounding to some of you guys. But but I think it is a good exercise for me. I do want to build genuine new relationships in adulthood and not just hang out only with the people I'm comfortable with. So I do think this will be good for maintaining my existing friend group as well as branching out. And lastly, we've got hobbies. So I would consider myself a pretty creative person. I definitely want to pursue passion projects outside of just work, hence why we have this YouTube channel. So I think that immersing myself in something that's just for me outside of work is absolutely essential. My resolution this year is to nurture my existing hobbies like YouTube, dance, and crochet on a regular basis. For example, for YouTube, I want to stick to posting once every week, fingers crossed. For dance, maybe attend a few dance classes a month and for crochet to learn some new patterns and make some pieces that I will genuinely wear outside. <laughs> I am also resolving to pick up at least one new hobby this year. I'm not sure what it will be just yet but this is one of my most interesting goals to think about. I have a few ideas in mind like I want to get back into running and hopefully enter a race officially. Maybe I will try art like painting or photography and just anything creative and that is not too costly. So that about sums up my resolutions for this video. By the time you are watching this, it will have been the new year and I will probably be much more motivated to get started on these goals. I do realize that most of these resolutions are to be achieved over a long period of time, like developing consistent habits and mindsets. So I guess you guys will have to watch on for the rest of this year to see how I do. Thank you guys so much for watching if you've come this far and for supporting me throughout this crazy year. Although I had many inconsistencies, I'm really grateful for anyone who watches and enjoys these videos. Let me know if you have any goals you would like to share and I will see you guys very soon in the rest of 2022 with a new one.